Hi, it's uh, really close to Labor Day weekend. It's September 1st, 2012. Well, I'm Bernie Goldbach, coming out of my back garden, giving you an American's take of uh, some of the Irish news. Looking at just the FT, the FT weekend, and then some stuff that comes out of the Independent uh, of interest. Hey, look, we'll start with this magazine, the FT weekend magazine, Will I Am on the front cover. Some stuff inside of it. Yeah, well, Will sees himself as being, as he puts it, a pop thrologist. What are computers to look like in the future? That's going to take people who study behavior. Hey, Will does. He's quite a brand ambassador. I don't necessarily go for his music. I like the Black Eyed Peas. Uh, he was the front man, and uh, now he's a NASA collaborator and a brand ambassador of all things. Photography of uh, an amazing discovery off, off the coast of Israel of uh, a gas field. So Tobias Buck reports on Israel's field of dreams. Uh, quite interesting to find a country similar to Ireland. Uh, you know, it's a, Israel's a bit of a, an island of itself, surrounded by hostile neighbors. Uh, reserves are almost oh, 10 trillion cubic feet that they've discovered, natural gas, the Tamar field. And then a few years later, the Leviathan gas field, the largest deep water gas reservoir found anywhere in the world over the past decade. Jesus, they have in, they have energy independence now. Disappearing mothers, writes Katie Rofi. Now, why would a woman put a picture of her child's face instead of her own on Facebook? And she says, oh, most of these women work. Um, the whole idea behind Facebook is to create a social persona, an image of who you are, to reject it. And she ends with, you know, what if Facebook pages are the only the, uh, the beginning? What if you can modify your passports and driver's licenses next? The faces of a generation will disappear. She's a professor at NYU, and uh, in her book, In Praise of Messy Lives, is where this whole essay kind of appears. Towards the back of the magazine, doctor, the doctor Sophie Harrison, talks about the off-legs phenomena. It's the epidemic filling up our hospitals. Basically, you're old, like my mother, nearing 90. Don't have really an acute medical illness, but all of a sudden you just can't move around. Um, Two-thirds of emergency admissions to hospitals today in England are people over the age of 65. This is partly because aging is the main risk of getting ill. When you, and then when you get there, the way from home, your pre-existing illnesses get worse. Ireland's going through this real thought process right now, trying to reduce beds and wards, and it's going to affect a whole generation of people in their 60s and 70s. The undercover economist investigates home workers. They aren't always shirkers. In the U.S., 10% of people sometimes work from home. More than 4% of people do it predominantly. I'm trying to do that myself, work from home, uh, establish Google Hangouts there. And I'll tell you, it's a quite interesting Labor Day topic for me. The national identity, do the math. Julian Teff has his back page article. I love it. It came to Ireland. It wasn't, you, you went in search of accommodations for where to stay. It's accommodation. It's not math. It's maths. And here's why. Medieval number crunching came in many forms, including astrology, trigonometry, calculus, and physics. Maths. Britain is the right way of saying it. Another British piece of technology is this from Brennan.co.uk. A way to take that stack of CDs that we have and put it onto something that looks attractive, plays easily. It might not be legal to do it, and that's the point they're making on their discussion boards. Unequivocally, the Advertising Standards Authority of, our, of the UK says you have to ask all the rights holders permission before you go ahead and use Brennan.co.uk's technology to record your stuff. Elsewhere inside the FT weekend, good stuff, but Paralympics going on right now. I won't be making one of these Sunday uh, bright, uh, little personal casts because i got stuff to do in the back garden. But inside this paper, branding, Mercedes is on a mission to get back in tune. I mentioned on Twitter that I'd seen a G-Class Mercedes-Benz, like a Land Rover discovery. Sales of Audi, 13% rise. BMW is up to 4%. That's what the chart says here. Um, BMW now Audi has ambitious growth plans in that, that premier brand market. Here's something that appears on Twitter a lot about cheap labor. It's in the money section of the FT Weekend. Hugo Greenhog says, individuals who are on internships, if they're not learning and they're not motivated, neither the company that they're interning with or the, or the individual benefits, but they're kind of urging kind of a hands-off approach by the government. Initiatives like JobBridge, if it's to work, companies need to offer for apprentices meaningful jobs in whatever form companies see fit. Twitter's being used in Ireland as a bit of a shaming post. You know, some stupid JobBridge stuff comes out, some internship that doesn't really do anything except pack bags. People are calling them out on it. 
Lots of stuff inside the endo about the uh, health problems, uh, overpaid consultants, some people would say. Or maybe this, overpaid counselors. Dublin counselors, what they earn. Interesting little uh, expose of uh, people who are supposed to be doing part-time work for the local community. The top 10 traveling counselors expenses claims Andrew Montague, uh, Montague gets 8,000 euro to go to Cardiff, Taipei, Hong Kong, Seoul, Chennai, and Brussels. Hmm. Coleman McQuinn looked at those travel claims. I wonder why a local counselor wants to go out as an ambassador for Ireland. I'm not sure what they got. The top earners are pictured in the Saturday Independent. I took this from McDonald's. And then the, just highlighted the places, the people that only filed minimum, like 4,000 euro, 3,000 euro, nothing. Um, there's a trend here. If you're below 5,000 euro for annual expenses, you're probably not even claiming, you're only claiming gas or petrol fees, mileage claims. The best paid officials are earning big bucks, 83,000 euro. Here's the guy, George Jones from Wicklow County Council. It's up to people whether, you know, he's delivering value for money. Where does he get the money? Well, he's paid as a counselor, he's paid to travel. A lot of this stuff is tax free. Several bodies to which he's been nominated just because he happens to be a counselor. And then you got these expenses that you can claim, such as counselors getting their message out. Well, meet counselor Suzanne Jamal, need 658 euro to learn how to speak and do promotional literature design. More on the uh, people that are underclaiming, I'd say. Lots, there's a trend here towards Fianna Gael, people that are filing less than 4,000 euro. Um, only found one person from Sinn Féin that's in that category. And then this guy here, Gerald Nash, um, no, not this guy, the Sinn Féin guy, Brian Stanley, 3,870 euro. May also be a TD, I don't get that. Um, I'm, not a, I'm not a big fan of paid counselors. I think they ought to be, uh, they ought to be given like part of the wiring diagram to participate in politics for the executive function of the county to listen to, but I think they're, it pays only one part of it. They have packages of support, like laptops and things like that. And that's the opinion that Paul Amelia writes in the Independent. Uh, don't waste another cent on out-of-touch counselors. It's all about perception. These guys shouldn't be allowed to travel and go all over the place on junkets. Ireland's broke. Give it up, lads. Give it up. Give it up and spend some time in the old rare times of Dublin. I love this. Just off, just off Stevens Green in Dublin, School children get classes to see how life was in the 20th century with typewriters. I use one of them. Bones you dialed to ring. And Viking remnants. I got garden to mill, as you can see. Dahlias to hang up. And a swing to manicure. You can see all these things on Flickr.com, Stroke Irish Eyes. Or follow me on Twitter as Top Gold. Thanks for listening. Another American view of Irish news. Gone for the week. Bye for now.